Welcome to the C Sharp Xamarin Cohort Experience at South Mountain Community College. This is a nine credit uh, class consisting of three courses C Sharp Programming Level 1, Xamarin with C Sharp Cross Platform App Development, and C Sharp Programming Level 2. My name is Stephen Hustedy. I'll be your instructor for this semester. A little bit of my background. Um, I started teaching here at South Mountain in January of 1990 as an adjunct professor teaching programming theory. Now CS 150 is known as programming fundamentals. And I've been a full-time professor here since 2000. I came in primarily to, to develop a web graphics program and to take over our programming and systems analysis program, which a few years ago I modified to become the programming and mobile app development program. Prior to coming to South Mountain in 2000, I was a systems analyst at Arizona State University for 11 years. I have a master's from ASU in educational media and computers. And uh, programming is definitely what I love to do. I wrote a programming textbook back in 1996 using a product called Toolbook and its associate language OpenScript. Toolbook was similar to Visual Basic when Microsoft came out with it a few years later. Our textbook for the CIS 162 AD uh, Level 1 C Sharp class would be Tony Gaddis's Visual C Sharp. And our bookstore has the fourth edition available. However, I would recommend you maybe bu consider buying the third edition. It's a little bit older, but not much difference between the fourth and third editions. And you'll probably save quite a bit of money. Uh, you won't necessarily find it in the bookstore, but you can find it at places like Amazon. For the Xamarin portion of our course, we're going to use a a free book written by Charles Petzold uh, called Creating Mobile Apps with Xamarin Forms. And it's available through Microsoft Press. You can just download it either as a PDF or a Kindle or an EPUB, whatever you prefer. And then for the advanced C-sharp, I'm going to recommend you use uh, Paul and Harvey Dytel's Visual C-sharp 2012 How to Program. This is the fifth edition. There is a newer version available. Uh, the 6th edition. However, I really kind of prefer this 5th edition. Again, you're going to find it much cheaper. And I was actually a technical technical reviewer for the Dytel brothers on this uh, textbook. So I'm pretty familiar with the textbook. You'll find my name on the back cover as well as the inside back cover and uh, in the dedication of the book. It was a great experience working with uh, Paul and Harvey Dytel and providing them feedback uh, as they finished up this book. So why a cohort? Well, if we look at languages, the spoken language, most people would argue the best way to learn a language is through immersion. If you wanted to learn French, the best thing to do would be go live in France for six months. And you'd probably at the end of six months be fairly fluent in French. I think the, true, the, the same is true with programming languages. If you look at how we traditionally would teach our programming and mobile app development class for an AAS over a four semester period, we would probably start you out with C Sharp and maybe uh, HTML, CSS. And then the second semester, you would do the, the Xamarin class or sort of the intermediate C Sharp and JavaScript. And you would then add in programming fundamentals using Swift and first level of Java. And then the third semester, kind of finishing up the C Sharp track and the web apps track, you're getting a little deeper into iOS, a little deeper into Android, and then finishing those up in the fourth semester. And the problem with that approach is you're spreading out that learning of a language over three semesters. It's not really immersion, and you're trying to learn multiple languages at the same time. If we were to do this as just a uh, CCL or certificate of completion, maybe over three semesters, you might actually be trying to learn four languages at the same time. If you can imagine trying to learn French and German and Russian and Spanish all together at the same time, that would be really confusing. At best, we might spread this out over four semesters, but again, you're going to have multiple languages at each semester. We might offer some of these courses maybe as eight-week courses, so you could do the CS 162 uh, Level 1 C-sharp and then do the Xamarin and the second level C-sharp concurrently Whereas over here, you might do the Java, and we'd offer the Android and the Advanced Java, each is eight weeks. There's different ways that we can approach this, but the same problem is, occurs. You're trying to learn multiple languages, and the learning spread out 
over several semesters. So rather than taking this traditional approach, I think a better approach is a cohort in which we create each semester com combining the three courses of each track into a giant course of nine credits. And you get to go much deeper into the content in a shorter period of time. And I think that enhances the learning experience. It provides greater continuity and focus. You're learning one language and focusing on one language each semester. And it's a faster track to your skills. It's If you just wanted to learn C-sharp or you just wanted to learn iPhone development or Android development, you could do that in one semester, get the skills you need in that platform to maybe go out and get an internship or an entry-level job. And by combining these courses, I think we get a better integration of content. So here's an example for the iOS cohort that I taught last semester. If you look at the competencies for the three courses, sometimes there's duplication and sometimes there are competencies that go well together between the courses. And so providing these courses together is not necessarily a uh, five-week, five-week, and five-week process. We integrate the material together for a better flow of the material. Now in the C-sharp, it's going to be a little more of the first six weeks is going to focus on the beginning C-sharp level class with a little bit of stuff from the other two courses brought in, but most of that's going to happen in the second half of the semester, and we're going to kind of divide our time between the advanced C-sharp and the C-sharp Xamarin cross-platform development. And those two integrate together very nicely. By doing this, I think we can add some value. We can go deeper into the content. If we think about teaching the courses this way, and let's say you start the C-sharp level one in the spring for 16 weeks, and then you take the, the Xamarin or the advanced C-sharp in the fall, you've had four months between the first take the first course and the second or maybe third course and in that four months unless you've been keeping up with things you probably would forget a lot and so I as an instructor usually end up spending a couple of weeks reviewing the content from the previous semester well by by doing this cohort approach we're teaching all three courses together I can eliminate that review and that gives us a little more time with the content to go a little bit deeper or go at a little bit slower pace, and it adds value to your learning. The other great thing about a cohort is it provides peer support. You are working with a group of students at a deeper level together for a longer period of time, building relationships, building some networking with those students, and maybe creating a study group or going to lunch with each other can help you in your learning process. So again, welcome to the C-Sharp cohort. I hope you'll find this to be a great experience.